And now it's one and two. Ward checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. Now all leave it up. In the air, right side. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Trout. Here's a 1 1. Inside, just missed. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Ward gets his lead at first with nobody out. Here's the 2-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And he deals. Bounce to the right. That's and it goes ball. just foul. Next offering is foul back. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. 1-1 one, one now. And strike two. The 1-2. Comebacker to the mound. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. Angels nothing. A's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay. And towing the slab, Tyler Anderson. What's the word on him? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. Digging in for Oakland, Este Yuri Ruiz. The center fielder. Este Anderson ready to work. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And it's a lead miss DX. Over to first, and he's saved. Another throw over, and he's back again. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The one two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball and then the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. So here's Brown at the plate. And now the lefty runner on the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. 
One two bottom of the first the pitch swing and a miss for the strikeout pulled the string on the changeup. Well you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have even if you do get to it it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair you're just going to make it a long strike at best you have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it and that way if you're a little quick the ball gets hit hard somewhere and it's not foul. Throw over to first. Nope. Ruiz hey. back in standing. Back over to first. Hey. And he's back in that time as well. Back to first. No. And again, he's back yeah. safely. pitch runner run around the goal the one one is fouled off the one two goes down swinging for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater the A's strand one we played an inning no score Top of the second. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The right field. Hunter Renfro. Kicks and fires. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. The first base of the Brandon Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury to the plate. Two one now. Rolled over to third. Diaz gets it to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Ground ball right side. Kemp tosses to first, and that is that. Angels go quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in Oakland, we head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Brent Rooker. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. to swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric Got stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just the right no messing here. around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Loriano comes up to hit. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Ward makes the catch for the out. Out number two. Shea Langoliers digs in now. And a 2 1 on the way. Bounced out to short. Fletcher. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Most of the time, first base would make those picks in the dirt look pretty easy, but that was a tough one on his backhand side right there. He got his glove down and gave it a good effort. Just couldn't get it to stick in the pocket, so unfortunately, his teammate gets tagged with an error. Here's Tony Kemp. 
Step off, throw to first, and he's back in there. Another move to first, and they're keeping him close. The 2 1. There's a strike. Langoliers off of first with two away. Fly ball to right. Renfro in position. Brings it in. And that ends the inning. One left for Oakland. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning. Here's Gio Urshela. The third baseman. Gio Urshela. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one missed. pitch Count recognize four. that change up right out of the hand just spit on it foul we'll see another payoff pitch that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going And here it comes. Line drive, base hit. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And here's the rookie catcher, Logan Ohapi. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Outside. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Nobody out. Runner at first. Inside oh, just God. missed. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Payoff pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Here's David Fletcher. The 1 1. Runner on the go. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched Ooh. into the opposite field for that knock. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And the right-hander deals. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. In comes the first run of the game as the Angels take the lead. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. And now batting Mike Trout. He's 0 for 1. That 
eclipse his zone. And a count one and two. One out. Runners at first and second. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Righty delivers. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, but no advance from the runners. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. So now here's the DH. Matt Theis grounded out his first time up. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that'll this load the bases. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Caught looking his first time up. The 1-1. One -one. No, that's it. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The 2 1. And yeah, there's a the ball. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here, with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Grounded to Aguilar. He handles it himself. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Nick Allen. Nick Allen. The 2 1. And now it's filled up. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Walked to open the ball game. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Got him! And now one away. Now that and let Miss Diaz down. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Pitch. 
Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Fires to second for one. And that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Drury. The 1 1. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And next for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And a pitch. Just missed. You know, these Angels doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The count two and one. Tap softly to the right side. Aguilar. And they tag him out. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Gio Urshela steps in. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Drury, the runner at second with one away. Smoked to the left, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. That is strike two. That one is absolutely belted. Ruiz on a dead sprint, racing back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here comes the runner from third. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. bat. Got the job the done. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. Two outs. Swings through that one. This to third. Diaz. Jump throw. And the inning is over. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. Angels two and the A's nothing. Ready to go. Bottom four. Leading off. Now Leading the A's, A's designated hitter, designated Seth hitter. Brown. Seth Brown. Sets him down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. His first at bat was a strikeout. One down, base is empty. Swing and a bouncer. Urshela to first in time. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 
Stepping in the long ball threat, Brent Rooker. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next pitch misses. Now two and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And right back to the mound. Throws to first. Oakland goes quietly. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail things here. Two nothing. Number 35 on the pitch out of the pen here. He's making his second appearance of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the A's. Number 35. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Swings and misses. One and, two. and a count one and two. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Kyle Muller preparing to come on if needed. Jimenez, the right-hander, also getting loose. And that one moves his feet. The 2-2 two -two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Well. You see how the catcher Four wanted count. that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Mike Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Kicks and deals. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Three balls, two strikes to count. Got it. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Swing and a miss. Now the count is even, two and two. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed, really impressive. Two-two on the way. Just no, missed. Count is full. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And there's ball four. Take your base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. 
That is if you are the offensive side of it. Next offering is fouled back. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Angels strand one, but they're on top 2 nothing. And welcome back. Here's Ramon Laureano. The right All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on next one misses and a count two and one two and one crushed in the air left center field way back there no doubt about it he circles the bases and they cut into the lead it's two one Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. And here's a 3-2. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Oh, well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. No he got the change up and still Secondary late on it. You rarely no see that. Way. It almost makes you think, yeah, that yeah. he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And here is Tony Kemp. Left-hand batter waits. Late on that fastball. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. 2-2 Two -two down. That one ripped, and that's a fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and the tying runs at second base with a double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line, and there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. One out, runner at second. Here's the shortstop at the play, Nick Allen. And he's already singled in this game. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Tucker Davidson, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Berea, the right-hander. Loosening up as well. Man at second. And just misses with that one. Este Yuri Ruiz. Next to bat for the A's. Kemp, the runner at second with one away. Stays alive. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. The pitch. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. Just held it back there. 
Runners at first and second with one gone. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Tyler Anderson won't go any further, and he leaves with the bases loaded, so he'll look for some help from his teammate coming in behind him. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Tucker Davidson. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Let me Diaz now. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The one-two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. Next is the designated hitter, Seth Brown, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Pitch is in there. And a count one and two. Two outs. Bases are full. Popped in the air. Left side. And there's a hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in. It's 3-2. Well, that's two-strike hidden right there. He did well just to put the ball in play. Pretty good pitch. Tried to front door the breaking ball. Didn't put a great swing on it either, but he found just enough of the bat to get himself a knock. And now the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Two on, two outs. That clips the corner. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Ward fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Back-to-back -back singles. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. He's already homered in this game. The 1-1. And he grounds one to the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 5-2. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's the speedy catcher, Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Kicks and fires. On the ground. Fair ball. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. And the lead is up to five. A two-run double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. New pitcher now, Jaime Barilla. This is his first appearance of the season. Jaime Barilla.
So two down Tony Kemp up next for the A's one for two and a one one. There's the strike at the knees. One two now. And another ball. ball. Two and two. Into left center for a base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score, and it's 9 2. Nicely done. Brings home two. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Two outs, runner at first. And now the shortstop, Nick Allen. So now three and two. A swing and a soft liner. Dunks one down, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Made a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Next to hit, Este Yuri Ruiz. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. But not before they bat around as nine men wind up coming around to score. Five innings complete. It's the A's nine and the Angels two. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Three and two now. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one is gone. A solo shot, and they slice into the lead. It's 9-3. Well, he saw a lot of pitches in this at bat, and in this 3-2 count, he got something he could handle, wasn't fooled, and did a really nice job in approaching and attacking that baseball. So up next, Luis Rangifo. And the pitch. Ball. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And he deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And he walked him. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The pitch. Grounder might be two. Fires to second for one. On to first, and Aguilar, it's a double play. 
The captain of the Logan. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Logan Ohapi. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Gets a piece and stays alive. And down on strikes. That's the third out. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now 9-3. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, John Choppy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Oledmis Diaz. That one in for a strike, two and two. Next offering is fouled back. Struck him out looking. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Digging in for Oakland, Seth Brown. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Right-handed reliever. And that one hammered. Trap going back. Back some more. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Close, but called a ball. And a count two and one. The two oh, on is high. Two down, nobody on. And there's ball four. ball four. Take your base. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone now gets a out. walk, Boog. So, man aboard. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Slice the other way and foul. The one two. What a stop! Fires to first, and that's a nice play to end the inning. The A's strand one, but they lead it 9 3. Back here in the East Bay, top of inning number seven. Now it's the shortstop, David Fletcher. Fletcher. Just off the outside part of the plate. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off the so the batting order the turns over. Three, and now Taylor, Taylor Ward. 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 If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fletcher gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Nobody out. 
Foul ball still a one and two count. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The one two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. And the next pitch is way outside. On the ground, could be two. To second for one, over to first, but he beats it. Now at the seventh inning, Mike Trout. And next for L.A., Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And here it comes. They say it went. One, two. And a pitch. Three. Got him looking for the K. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And at first, digging in, Matt Theis. And he dodges oh, that fastball. And the righty deals. That's down oh. and in. 3 1. And it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Into center and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, that worked out as good as it now could down have. Down. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base paths. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. And that's in for a strike. That's a base hit as a run scores. A couple of singles back to back. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Danny Jimenez. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Brandon Drury getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And the right-hander deals. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty delivers. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Loriano puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that.
One run in the inning, but they leave two. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the A's nine and the Angels four. Back in Oakland, bottom of the seventh, and now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. One one now. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Trout sizing it up. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batter. The catcher. Here's the catcher to hit. Shea Langoliers. One for three. The why to kick the pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. One ball, two strikes. To third. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down. Up next. The second, the second base. Tony. Tony. Kemp. Two outs, base is empty. Tony Kemp up next for the A's. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. The wind and the pitch. That one hammered center field. Trout ranges back. Back some more. And it's caught just in front of the wall. And the A's are gone in order. They're on top, however, 9-4. Ready to begin the eighth. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The wind of the pitch. Right. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Kyle Muller getting loose out there. Fujinami getting cranked up as well. The wind, the kick, and the one two. On the ground to third gathers and throws the first first out in the top of the eight Gio Urshela to the plate that one hit to right Loriano trying to get there makes the grab two away the catch at number 14, Logan. Oh, Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Logan O'Hoppy. And a pitch. Foul ball. On the ground, right side, Kemp. Sends it to first, third out. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it here, nine, four. Pitching change here, Shohei Otani. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Nick Allen. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Tapera appears to be getting loose.
Two yeah. one pitches in there and the count is even. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous MVP and the first unanimous AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Frank Robinson. Got him swinging. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an now individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't oh, looked very comfortable up there. Yeah. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two outs on the ground, right side. Over to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. Next offering misses down and away. Line drive, base hit down the line. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Now, Taylor Ward. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Goes down looking. The Mike Trout, the next to hit for the Angels. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Misses off the play. Ball two. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. 2-2 Two -two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Fletcher stands at first with one out. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. Ball count. And that's ball, ball four. Ball four. Runner, take your base. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Huh. Matt Thice, the next to hit. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Left hand hitter waits. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two and one now. Breaking ball in there for a strike. The punch out there. Angels with only one out left. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Here's a 1 1. Fouled off. He was late. Is just one strike away. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering is outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Mm -hmm. 
And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. After a couple of times to the order, these guys really figured it out with the bats. A huge fifth inning, and that was all they really needed to get this victory today. Really nice job to pick up the W today. 9-4, our final score, Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.